Hey, what's up everyone? Today, um, I'm gonna show you something that I should have showed you before. Uh, I just never thought about it. I don't know why. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the remote play from the PlayStation Vita. Um, I know there's a ton of videos about it. Uh, and there's not a lot of games that you can play through remote play. Uh, PS3 games to be specific. Uh, one of the ones you can actually play, and it's a really good game if you're, you know, looking for some a little more uh, action. We do have the God of War collection. That will be God of War, the first God of War, and God of War Two. Uh, it will be this one right here, the collection. So you have that right there. Uh, you got your PS3. You have it on your on your TV. Uh, what we do is it's uh on your TV you obviously go to remote play on, t on your TV you go to remote play I'll show you in a second well of course yeah, on your PlayStation 3 uh, on your TV you're gonna, you're gonna go to your settings uh, and you're gonna go remote play uh, a lot of PSP users already um, know how to use this you obviously have to set up your PlayStation Vita first you can add your PlayStation Vita to your PS3 register the device mine's already registered it says PlayStation Vita um, alright so we got that to connect it on your PlayStation hmm. on your PlayStation um, 3 you go to network and then you go to remote play and you're good on that side now a uh, little message to connect your remote play device is going to appear and then we're going to we're going to go back to the uh, PlayStation Vita okay now back on your PlayStation Vita um, we're going to go to remote play which I forgot to start here we start remote, remote play uh, connect via private network of course because I'm connecting through the PlayStation um, I recommend you to connect through um, the Wi-Fi because the connection between PS3 and Vita sucks directly if you have a good Wi-Fi I recommend you to use your Wi-Fi instead so we're connected to the to the PS3 now through remote play it will be a tie ass feature if you can actually do everything you can do on your screen on the on the PlayStation Vita because it has I mean it's such a good pair right there but Sony light tools and all that crap I don't want to go through it but yeah so you have your PS3 screen right here and one of the games you can actually play like I said before it's you got a war games uh, DC this CD comes with the two games uh, of course, we got, like I said, got a war one, got a got a war two. Um, when you do that, you're gonna make an update. Um, right when you install the CD, it's gonna ask you to do a a software update, which is the thing that is gonna allow you to, to play the game through remote play. As we can see, the PlayStation Three is capable to remote play the games. The good quality games, the good, uh, you know, the good action games, and all those great titles can be streamed through remote play. But Sony just didn't uh, include that very well on, on the PS3 for the PS Vita. I guess they were saving it for the PlayStation 4, which ho I, I hope they don't let this. Try, like cool feature out because seriously the uh, Wii U it's beating it's beating Sony on that Nintendo's beating Sony on that um, so this CD it comes with God of War, God of War 2 um, and it's playable it's, it's it looks good it runs good if uh, you don't have any interference on your house um, I don't really have any complaints and I like playing it tells you right here how to set up your thing you can do you can set your things like that 
so it's told me to use type 3 because I had it set up assign parents type 3 okay we got that So tap the R2 to continue. What's R2? Right two. These R2. There you go. So I had the game already started, so I can just load it. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't play full screen. That's, that's one of the things I kind of didn't like. And you can switch the quality to plus one. And so there he is. Obviously, if you're your, right next to your TV, you want want to play on your TV. But if you're, let's say, like I have a uh, second uh, two-story house, and I don't want to be downstairs, but my PlayStation is upstairs, I can access it remotely. Obviously, with my uh, with my PS Vita, I can start the game and start start playing right there. And then, so let me take this out of the thing. And zoom out a little bit so you can see it. So you got your controls. So you got that right there. Go, go, go. I'm sorry guys. So like I said, uh pretty cool game to play. We stop tapping R2, we tap repeatedly, R2 is with the pad on the back. Uh, I'm not tapping, tapping, tapping fast enough. There you go. It doesn't play full screen, it plays a decent size screen, but I wish it played full screen. I don't know why they do that, it's just ridiculous that you can play it full screen on them. But like I said, if you want to have a another game to play on your PlayStation Vita, you can actually have two. Uh, at the time, I'm just gonna set this down real quick. At the time, the game cost me 25 bucks. It's obviously cheaper with the Power Up Reward card. I think I paid less than that. And um, what you get, I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's cheaper now. Uh, this is one of the games you can play through remote play, and and it's a good game to play on the PlayStation Vita because it's fun. But yeah, this is how it looks. Zoom in a little more so you can appreciate it better. But this will be it. And this is how it looks, and I forgot how to open this crap. Oh, you hold it down, of course. But yeah, you use the, the rear uh, touchpad to mimic the R2 and L2 buttons. As you can see, there's no lag. And I actually hate those little things. Oh yeah, that's a remote play uh, God of War game. So that's God of War, the first God of War, and there's God of War 2 of course, and then God of War 3 doesn't work, but the first two God of Wars are some of the best God of Wars there. I, I forgot the controls, I haven't used this in a while. Well, there you go. If you guys want to play this game, go ahead and buy it. Cause you know, if you ha if you play it on PS3, you know you liked it. Uh, so for the PS3, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's cheaper now than 20 bucks. 
So I recommend you guys getting this one for your PlayStation Vita so you can uh, at least have another two games that you're going to enjoy. Um, that's all pretty much I have to say. If I can find any other games that actually work with the PlayStation Vita that are good enough for you to entertain yourself, then I'll let you know. I know there's one more that I kind of like. It's a medieval game. It's called Layer. That one will run smoothly on the on the um, PS Vita too, but it depends on, on what you're into. Uh, most people are into God of War, so there you go. I do recommend you to buy this and play it on PlayStation Vita. Bye guys.